There is a podcast no one asked for. A podcast you never knew you didn't want. Three beers in. This is the podcast. Just a beta. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this bonus episode of Three Beers In. Today, we are going to be reviewing the beers that came in from our first case of craftbeardclub.com. You got Ross. Hey. Myself, Clint. Joel. Cutter. Yo. And special guest, Amy Rain. Hey, guys. AmyRainMusic.com. AmyRainMusic.com. I don't know if that's the website, but... I own the domain, at least. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. there you go. Okay. So in our craft beer club box, yeah, our first beer, which we going... should we should explain first, craftbeerclub.com. Oh, sorry, is a subscription service where they will send you a box of craft beer from a brewery. It could be in your state, but most likely it's from a different state. So it's a good way to you know try beers from other states, other areas of. The country where, you know, they could be brewing just a little bit differently. And we're not saying they're not going to be good as local Austin beers, but it's highly likely that they're not. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. they're probably not going to be. Is it going to be better than Austin. Dragon Yum Yum? Yeah. yeah. Is it yeah, going to be better probably. than Carbach? God bless you, Carbach. All right. <laughs> so All right, the first one. First yeah. beer from our case, Nut Crusher Peanut Butter Porter by Wild Ride Brew from Redmond, Oregon. Yes. Yeah. Do we uh, know anything about this brewery? Quick question. So they're all the beers from the same brewery each time you get a box? N- uh, no. no. They sent them from two different breweries, Wild Ride Brew and River Horse, which is out of New Jersey. Jersey. All right. Silence, Water Horse. I'm going to pop this top. There you go. So as Clint is pouring these, Wild Ride started as a bunch of friends in Redmond, Oregon, apparently. Lifelong friends that grew up there. And they decided they wanted to start a brewery, and they did. The end. I'm super excited about this, because peanut butter is life. Yeah, I'm not a peanut butter fan. So. Those those that are vegan. <laughs> You're also not a raisin fan. That is true. Raisin wow. and this peanut is like, butter is this my This is like tonight. raisin and peanut butter right now. <laughs> the, the nose on this is... Although I do want to brew a porter. Good. Oh, wow. The um, nose, the nose. Yeah, the nose. You, just, yeah. you just got a whole lot of peanut butter right that there. That nose is it's, pretty solid. There, there's a little porter in there, yeah. but it's just you, peanut butter. You guys are going to be it surprised. It smells like an old timey candy shop. Is it me or does it smell like Updog in here? That's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was, was going to say, it's, I would say it's, so. it smells Ooh. like an oh wow, like an old school Reese's. Like just you a, need a, to taste it. Uh, that is nice. That's not raisins. No, it, <laughs> that's nickels. It, it no. does, it <laughs> tastes like love. Mm, a lot more chocolate. Mm, on, candy. It's like on the yeah, the, yeah. I'll take you it. to. I'll I, take you to I'm, the candy shop. Yeah, I'll lick exactly. you like a lollipop. Yes, nickels. and it's lighter than you'd expect. You yeah, think it'd be like a heavy I, I creamy? Was, <laughs> yeah, not. I was expecting like thick peanut butter, and it's just like it's sort of just like peanuts. Yeah, it, it's, which it's I like, like. I like a little. I like better. Oh, I thought you were talking about nickels. That no. is like a light nickel yeah. taste. <laughs> no, we moved on. We no. were actually discussing the beer. I don't think no. Clint and I moved on. <laughs> no, I, I got what I wanted to say out, and then I moved on. Oh, you, okay. you were the one lingering mm. on the. You nickels. left me at an island. That yeah. is amazing. That's, That's really pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I not would a, not, this. not as would... good as any local Austin beer. This might be a two. There's no such thing as two. <laughs> Twos don't exist. Twos don't exist. <laughs> yeah. Invalid. Void. It's a void whole response. Other level. It's this got is a, just. This is a beautiful beer right here. Well I mean, made. It's heavy on the no nose. off flavors, and it's just like. Mm. I can be the only one who has to say it's yeah. super nostalgic to, for me. It, yeah, yeah, it like takes me somewhere. Like an old, it's old got, fashioned candy to shop. the candy yeah. shop. Yeah. No, it's got a, it's, it's giving me a tingly uh, sensation no. on the tongue. Here we go. <laughs> so it's got a little bit of metallicness, I think. Yeah. Um, Are you allergic to nuts? No, I'm not allergic to nuts. He just really likes nickels. Face is swelling <laughs> a little bit. Because this is the nut crusher. <laughs> it is the nut crusher. I, I like I kind of like the label. 
It's got the uh, elephant on the front. An African elephant, by the way. I yeah. do. If Brit- not some big if ass at, Eastern Asian. Yeah, if you come elephant. at me Indian. with Indian an elephant. Asian elephant, fuck off. All right, right, right away. Those no. are friends. African elephant or nothing. <laughs> that is. That is. That's for real. All right. All right. Come on. Yeah, I don't think that they're tameable like the Asian. Ones. Probably not, especially the bull elephant, right? That looks like a bull elephant. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a bull yeah. elephant. Def- I mean, it's got the tusk. And the uh, and skis. Looks, yeah, and, the, and the skis. And the skis. <laughs> oh, I guess that's the wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see an elephant on skis. Yeah. That, actually, that might Water be animal skis. cruelty, but Is you know, it would be fun for like 15 minutes. And then it's like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. So it's got peanuts. What is about the closest pine thing cones I- on the design here? It's like pine cones on the left, and then powder from like snow. Are they pine skiing. cones or is it hops? Uh, maybe that maybe it's brown though. Oh, okay. Hops are green. Oh, those, yeah, those are definitely pine cones. Well, it's from Oregon, so you know they have a lot of pine trees. They do have a lot of pine trees. Maybe that's what it's about. Coniferous. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out what all I'm picking up in here. I mean, yeah, peanuts. I got and the porter, porter but, but it's mo- I get a whole lot of peanuts. The closest thing I can probably compare it to locally would be like the 512 pecan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of a little bit? Kind of like a, a smell the smell of cedar wood. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. kind of see that. What? What co- Oh, I'm maybe, sorry it's not written on the behind bottle. The, behind the the No, it's the uh, no, I I mean, I, I still definitely get almost like a peanut butter cup. Like, that's yeah, almost, that's, yeah but almost like, a peanut butter cup, but, it's, but it's not. like a natural but yeah, peanut butter cup with like actual like, like ground old, up old nuts. timey walking into yeah. like they just freshly made peanut butter cup. Definitely. It's a porter. So you're going to get some of those chocolate right. roasty notes. But but yeah, it's like it does have it like a little bit of a, a woody, woody was, nose to it. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, more of a buzz. I despise yeah. that chicken. No. I but really when I saw what was being delivered, I saw the nut crusher peanut butter porter. I was expecting just like drinking Jif. That's what that's what I expected. Oh, but I'm pleasantly yeah, surprised. Yeah, yeah, that's not this, at all what Yeah, this it's very is like. complex. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what yeah. I keep saying it, but I really taste the peanuts. It's like drinking a beer and eating it's like, peanuts, but with it's, unsalted peanuts. And it's then, like having nuts in your mouth, you know? Yeah, and we all know how every, how much everybody Just a that. big old cup Bucolic. of nuts. Bucolic. It's the best. <laughs> what are your thoughts <laughs> on this? The beer or the nuts? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it, it instantly puts me into like this old-timey kind of candy shop. That's It's the, the smell of it, like before you even take a sip of yeah, it. Yeah, it, it's, it's like... Breathing in the that sweet air mm-hmm. um, in in a candy shop. Yeah, where where it's just like but with like old wood floors. Yeah, yeah, you know? I get that. cedar cedar floors. Root like, beer like when candy. You go, sarsaparilla. A little bit sarsaparilla of sarsaparilla. No, no. is root beer. Did I'm, you know I, that? I know that. Yes, I it, did not know that. That's why he. It's well, birch beer is the same thing. Anyway, much. um, no. What I just said is I'm I'm getting a little bit. Wait, of, we don't we don't care. Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, you're getting. What are you getting? Uh, root beer candy. Okay. Yeah, vaguely I mean, reminiscent, probably, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's that candy shop vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the element of the like candy shop that I'm kind of focused on, mm-hmm. I guess. Okay. Because like when you walk in, you get that it's a strong smell, and that's one of the like off the top of my head, hard candy, root beer bite. candy, you know, has that element to it. So, yeah, Joel. What, so what Joel, do you think? Joel, you're a meh. You're a meh. Yeah. Is it too sweet? For I you? think I want it to be a little bit colder. But porters. Uh, Porters, as they warm up, they're supposed to open up to the flavors. Yeah, what I was going to say. I don't want beers to warm up myself. But I do. Yeah, anyway. I don't either. Yeah. So what I was going to say is I think, it, in my opinion, if you know, like older, when, the, when somebody offers you coffee after you've had a meal, I think this would be up. awesome substitute. Like, yes. this would be something I would want to be like, oh, <laughs> I just finished a meal. I don't want dessert. I want this. Actually, it's not really heavy. Yeah. That's the other thing. This would be yeah. something I mean, This would be something to pour over ice cream. Yeah. Yes. Although, I mean, well, we have one more. We'll have we'll have to save it for that. If you, unless it's, you, it's go, not, it's unless like you a, don't want to. I was going to say, it's not going to compare to our other ice cream beer, though. I've got a feeling. No, yeah. But we can, Should we one or zero beer? it? Oh. I would say this is a one. One. Personally, one. One. I think, I, heard, I, think oh, I already gave but, my. But, but. Could you go three beers in on this? I yes, could. definitely. I, easily could. That, I yeah, don't that, think I could. That's easily the, that's could. the yeah, thing I, I was saying. I it's either. not, I don't get the soup that it's super heavy. 
No, I, uh, it feels it, too would, sweet for me. Too sweet for, to go three beers three. in on this. Six percent. Joel, is it a one for you too? Actually, I do Actually, like it. I yeah. think it has. I think, it's a one. I, I think it has actual nuts in it. <laughs> no, no, there's there's something. There is literal semen in my beer. <laughs> no, if if you look, I mean, it's a, it's a dark beer, so you can't really see. But once you get like to the end, you can you can see there's. There's something. Well, there's something floating in mine. <laughs> I don't know what you did, Clint, but I got I got some nuts. That's that's. Oh, I got some you, nuts. You got some nut. in my. You got I'm some my, nut. All right. No, I didn't get. He the shaved end some of nuts it, off. So Cutter would have gotten the end of it. Cutter Cutter got more than the end. Yeah, just the tip. You got the root. No. The old turkey the neck. End. No, um, but chugging. doesn't really matter. It's just you know every time you go to take a sip, Easy that there, smell Chester. is just. Really, in the, you know, like I like it. Yeah, I do too. Literally, this is one beer, one of those beers. Think, that just I want to inhale before I take a sip. Yeah, just to get oh, the yeah. whole experience. No, that's the opposite for me. I you, want like you want to. I think that's the reason I couldn't. You want do a really more thick head. I couldn't do the aromatic like, three of these. Yeah, because I agree, actually, getting that smell every time I that go smell to drink, would make you sick or something. I'm just yeah. like, yeah, I don't, I, I don't want to smell that. that every time I can I go understand to take that. I don't know. That smell, it's like. Homely, like welcoming, almost. Mm-hmm. Like, homey, yeah. It's homey, homey is different than yeah. homely. It's got to be spices or something that they put into it that they give it that. Like, um, what's on the bottle? <laughs> it doesn't say. It doesn't say much. That's okay. But it does. It feels like you're walking That's into spice. a space. You know, like it smells like somebody's home or yeah. or like a store or yeah. something. I think that uh, I mean, no, no. Sarah from Mason de Macron would love this beer. Have you read the bottle I'd, yet, Cutter? I'd love to Ooh, see what she would. Uh, this would be awesome. She would pair with this. That would be a good what, one. What does the bottle say? The bottle's pretty good. You already read it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you, you got all the... Okay, but our listeners yeah. have not read the bottle. No, no, but I, I was going to see if he got all the notes, but mm-hmm. anyway. I did. I commented on all the notes. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Before I read you, missed, you missed the caramel, but okay. Yeah, yeah we haven't commented Char- on oh, the caramel. Wait, right, let so, me give you one more taste. Right. <laughs> or how we all mm. say the word caramel. There's the toffee. Toffee. Caramel. Caramel. Mm. Caramel. Caramel. It's just list like random. Anyway. It's probably just. I mean, any beer that uses. Uh, yeah, yeah. With, with crystal malts is gonna have a little. Topping. So here's, here's raspberry. Here's the thing. Pro- with what? no, <laughs> no. <Okay>. Shut up. <laughs> with notes of chocolate and caramel. Yeah. Ugh. You're gonna get that with with any porter. Anyway, this caramel. porter is complemented oh. by the addition of creamy peanut butter flavor. Mm. It's a true liquid peanut butter cup. And it's here for you to enjoy. Oh, it's so much more than that. It is. It really is. It. it I, I'm with it. I would have it, it is. I would take this beer behind the gym and get it pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> if it would have you. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, yeah. No, I'm with Amy. It, it is so much more than just the peanut butter cup because it literally is like stepping into a candy shop. Like that's what I picture. Like just. That's our life. But with, I'm surprised. With chocolate. I'm surprised. Cutter didn't picture like an elephant skiing down a slope. <laughs> like. That's what's on the bottle. <laughs> no, it, 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 it smells was like of, lake water. Oh. Uh, no, what was I going to lead into that? I don't know. Uh, Nobody knows. Oh, pond water. Uh, Amy. Oh, Amy has me drinking no. uh, blue green algae. Ugh. So it's like taking like the spirulina kind yeah, of I, I guess thing. Yeah, I got Yeah, but this one is um, instead of they Terrible. them like dehydrating it, they it's don't all, they don't yeah, dehydrate yeah, it. So you. it's like little shots of terrible. essentially um, little shots of clean <laughs> lake water. They do they do clean it. It's but. it's like you just it's like drinking clean water. Pond water. I was watching this thing that it was they were did it for I think Discovery Channel a couple years ago. It's how beer saved the world. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it goes. Uh, I've talked about it. I haven't talked about it on the podcast yet. But at one point, they were talking about the importance of water for beer, and there was a duck pond behind this brewery. I don't recall where it was, but they took the pond water, the dirty pond water, and used it in the beer. Though they filtered it and cleaned it and made it, you know, drinkable, potable. See, that's what I think. If you're going to drink algae, and, you should drink they, it. And then they is it potable people, or potable? Potable. Yeah. Potable. Notable potable. Potable notables. I don't know. It, Jeopardy. Um, Celebrity Jeopardy. I'll take anal bum cover for seven dollars. <laughs> but no, and then they told the people, and one guy was like, "Well, all right." <laughs> he just kept drinking it. But yeah, yeah. yeah uh, uh, but yeah, I probably uh, would. I mean, if it tasted good, it it, it tastes really good. 
You're telling <laughs> me this is duck it. water? If this was made with duck water. More people should use duck water. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it, apparently, it has the right minerals you need to make yeah, good well, beer. Minerals are very important. They are. Nut Crusher. Pretty good beer. Yeah. yeah I probably beer. couldn't have three of them. One. No, one I, for me. I could, have, I could have three. One. One no. for myself. Uh, it's, it's a one, but not more than one. I would not, love. I zero. would love a beer float that's, that's with this. That's, yeah, that's how, with that's some how vanilla works. ice cream. I don't think I could Ooh. ever forget this beer. It's it's unique. It is. I, I wish like I could it. quit you, beer. Is quit. it because of the so, elephant on skis that you can't forget <laughs> it? <laughs> no, that it's is, a, that is a pretty, pretty good image. It, it is. So, it's the smell. Like it just. I mean, oh, it is. Yeah, I don't know. It, it evokes it now, a memory. I mean, we should probably mm-hmm. try some something, other something. Something that does that. Does you anybody can't get does away? Anybody so. in Texas do some kind of peanut butter stout yeah. or porter? Yeah, yeah. We should try. We should try that. Three beer beers in. I hear they do okay. one. Three beers in, we'll drink one. Oh, Amy's going for a second pour. I know. I'm. So what we are trying now is cutter. What is it? We have the Roly Poly Pills. It's a Czech style pills bottled by River Horse Brewing Company in Ewing, New Jersey. Ewing, I'm sure it's the oh, local yeah. pronunciation. Ewing. Yeah. So it's just a step down because we had an elephant earlier. Now we have a horse. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's a paper a rock. It's a hippo. Yeah, it's it's a hippo on there. For label. those that don't oh, know, well, a river a horse. horse is a hippo. hippo oh, yeah, 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 see. Yeah, on the top part. I, I think uh, is it. Girl, you chunky. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent certain. Is that or... a butthole? Is that a butthole? Ma, is that your? No butt stuff. I mean, I'm looking at it. I mean, what? It looks, it looks oh, like the backside of a hippo. If it is, yeah. That's one tight butthole. Be... No, no. We've already. Sorry. Tonight, we've already established that th- we at death Both we're gonna we're we're gonna butt chug a beer. <laughs> yeah. Butt chugging. Butt chug a beer. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's where are the you, conversation went tonight. Are you, are you butt chugging kidding me? Are you butt chugging kidding me? <laughs> so River Horse has a very interesting website, not optimized for mobile, though, but, <laughs> but it's really cool. It's got it's got a lot of hippos on it. It's really cute for you know a, a man saying that. But I'm still getting some of the peanut. Yeah, all, all those hippo See, lovers. Yeah, we, we probably shouldn't have poured the the pills into the peanut. Right on top it, of the it peanut a butter. Whiny port. to me. Mm. Well, well, you, you should drink yours. Let's turn this all. around a little bit. Just kind of get it. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, it's it's, uh, still, it's kind of a it, hoppy so pill. The the sweetness what? I'm smelling yeah. is probably from the peanut butter porter still, because mm-hmm. that's still on my glass. It is yeah. hoppy, like Ross said. It's that's probably hoppy even hoppier than the pie jingo from North by Northwest. See, I don't know. I, I disagree. It's like, no. it's, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just not as balanced. No, no, no. no. It's not hoppy. Like uh, it's not hoppy. It's different. This is it's de- definitely different hops. It's like it's a. This it's is a more, different hop. This is more woody. I mean, it's the woody sauce. Yeah. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a different kind of wood versus uh, that piney it's the wood hop. That makes it good. Yeah. The wood that makes it good. Yeah, it's woody, good? woody and earthy, spicy, yeah. spicy. Yeah, but it's spicy it. is a good word. It's smooth, right? Like, oh, very mm-hmm. smooth. Very yeah, it like my it's water. The, like the first sip, I tasted it, hardcore the hops, and now it's like almost really smooth. Mm. Like it, it like rolls yeah, into no, the yeah, hops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's a pilsner, and then it kind I'm of rolls into the hops. It's very, very smooth. It is pretty smooth. Um, if I take like a big drink of it, then then I get the the sweetness on the back end. It's really nice. I I really want more of that. I'm getting like the revolver long yeah. range pills. I it's would not, prefer that because that has I'm, a little bit more. What it malty. is is it. It's got the hop finish, mm-hmm. but it's not the strong hop that typically IPAs. It must be a different no. kind of hop. No, it's sauce. It's a check. Yeah, it's Czech. Czech style. It, it's check. It's the Czech hop. It's yeah. not. It's not too hoppy. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Word to your mother. Um, but no, it's hey, like, cutter. The fuck did you just say? <laughs> It's like it's, Czechoslovakia yourself before see, you wreck a Slovakia yourself. <laughs> nice. Shout out to our fans in Slovakia. <laughs> hey, we are the number one downloaded podcast. Although we have, we have more downloads beer. in Ukraine now, I believe. Than Slovakia? Yeah. But we are still the number one Austin craft beer podcast in Slovakia. I'm sure it, we are. Anyway, it's a, like, like Rob, <laughs> I don't get the sweetness on the finish I, or uh, on the front. I get it yeah. towards the mid yeah. Yeah, yeah, palate yeah. and then, and then, spice, the, then like spicy a, yeah. on, the, on, the, on the finish. Yeah, yeah that's a good way I, to I, yeah. I, would, I would like more of the sweetness. But that's not really what no, I, Czech I pills really do. 
too. So they have that kind of hot. No, like, yeah, it's it's the spicy, spicy, yeah, spicy I mean, woody. It, they're showcasing finish. the clarity, yep. the clean finish, and the sauce hops. For That's a, what the the check for a pilsner. Yeah, by the way, this is not very clear. Yeah, yeah. Is that this a is, peanut? <laughs> <laughs> is that a peanut? <laughs> no. It's, Anybody it's want pretty, a peanut? Is it's pretty cloudy for a pilsner. It, um, yeah, maybe that's, is, not, is that traditional is with clear. the Czech style pilsner? I wouldn't say they're super clear, but they should not be hazy. Yeah, this is fairly hazy. But How much of that is because we poured this into a glass? Uh, I had a pecan <laughs> porter in it, or not pecan porter? I don't. I don't think porter. it would affect the entire no, thing. Yeah, right. It's yeah. too much. Put yours up next to mine. That's pretty much dark. It, no, it, it wouldn't. It's um, as hazy as a as a half, maybe. Mm, not quite. Not it, quite. It's borderline. It's close. Pretty close. Well, it depends on the half. Here's the yeah. That's true. You know what this is not? North Coast Scrimshaw. Yeah, I was thinking it. Well, North that Coast coaster? has that spot. Yeah, it is. Has that spicy sauce hop I, there. I, but it doesn't. God. It doesn't have the same it, hop yeah. note finish that this has. It's got more of that malty sweetness. Is what the is, is that, what North Coast has. You think that has. cuts it out? Yeah. When it comes to the Scrimshaw, I'm a, I'm in Clint's camp. Like that's that's man. It's hard to it's hard to compete I had with a Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw. We yeah, should, a we weeks, need yeah. to do we need to do a bonus episode. Just for Scrimshaw. Well, if you guys want to, we can. Yeah. We should. And then Clay yeah, can do the script. intro. Give a Twitter poll. No, we talk about it enough. Like, see, <laughs> see if our listeners. The whole want to episode listen. could just be me talking about how good Scrimshaw is. <laughs> just saying the word Scrimshaw. <laughs> the whole Scrimshaw. Episode, Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw. I like to think that Ross, <laughs> Ross will print you out a script and all it says on there is Scrimshaw. <laughs> I'm not a big Pilsner fan. <laughs> Son of Pretty Yoda. <laughs> I, I always thought. Scrimshaw? I always thought there is no Scrimshaw, only Scrimshaw. No, I don't know. Yeah. It's Yoda. No, it's always pirate. So, so wait, no. The movie that you said earlier, Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw. Oh, the Scrimshaw Scrimshaw Redemption. Oh, I love that movie. (laughs) Scrimshaw (laughs) Redemption. Deathbed movie. Anyway, so Joel. Scrimshaw with North Coast. So, so Joel, what what were you saying? So I'm not a big uh, Pilsner fan. I always thought people would drink Pilsners or Pansies. Um, but this is actually really good because of the hop at that. Well, Pilsner, I don't know that most people drink Pilsners. Finish. Most AKA people. Although are, Cutter thinks it's Miller kind of Lightly amazing. available beers. Are yeah. Pilsner. Cutter said that, that's why I think it's Pansies. Okay. Uh, but Cutter uh, Cutter's that, yeah. like mid flavor. And I guess I can see that because it. In the Mine middle, is like no, in the, the mid mid palate sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah There's first, something I mean, unique you about get, this. You get the hops, and then then the sweetness, and then you get a spicy finish. When you when really, you, I don't get spicy, but it, I get hops afterwards. I get you get hops. Kind of, spicy is the hops. The hops basically. is the spicy. Yeah. yeah, I think it makes it unique though. That's, it's, that's whatever like the hop it. is has a spicy element to it, and yeah, that's what yeah, the sauce hops is. Is a typically spicy. But what's interesting mm-hmm. about this beer is while you're like in it and you're like you take a sip and you're like that was good and then you go another gulp, another gulp. It's mm-hmm. like sweet all the way through that part and then then the finish is more hoppy. But yeah. like yeah, it's a nice that's sweet. Full that's sweet. Sweetness we're makes we're on the same yeah. palate on that. Yeah, that's what it's exactly. A bitter finish. Is. Hey Cutter, what's going on, Ross? Do you ever dread having to go to the post office? Yes, all the time, actually. Yeah. Any, anytime I go to the post office, I know I'm not going to have a good time. Yeah. You get out of bed, get in your truck, drive across town, wait in line, notice you forgot to put on pants, argue with the guy for not serving you, jump over the counter, get tased, end up in a federal prison. Federal pound me in the ass prison. Spend a lot of time with your cellmate that likes to call you Cynthia. No, well, now with stamps.com, you don't have to end up in prison. Now- Great. <laughs> Now you can mail your beard samples right from the comfort of your own home. People do like my beard samples. It's so red. It's so red. And and right now at Stamps.com, you can get a free scale, which makes it even easier to avoid prison. A free scale? Yes. Just use so offer- I can weigh my weed. <laughs> yes. Just use offer code so it's not the biggest package. <laughs> Love you, Ross. <laughs> you even get a free scale, which makes it even easier to avoid prison. You would have to be dumber than a monkey to not use stamps.com. I am not dumber than a monkey. Although you that know, can be argued. <laughs> some of them do know sign language. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I might be dumber than a monkey. <laughs> I think the monkeys are doing fine. <laughs> stamps.com. You don't want to go to prison, right? <laughs> 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 oh man! So, 
the next one. Oh, this is another river horse. Yeah, yeah. This is another river horse. It's River Horse Special Ale, an American Amber. And guess what's on the bottle? Another hippo. No. Yeah. Angry um, hippo. But so the thing about craftbeerclub.com is you get 12 beers oh. from two breweries, but it's three of a particular beer. So there were was three it? River Horse Special Ales. Yeah. There were three Pilsners. Okay, and then, right. yeah. Oh, so, so it also you, so comes. So you get two styles from two different breweries. So this is the Amber. Guys, I got to start up a little bit to get a little bit of the nose. Hold on. It's nice. This is the River Horse Special Ale, an American Amber. That is really nice. Mm-hmm. No, I, mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't nice. say there's there's anything really special about it. Ooh, there's no. not typically there's not a whole bunch of special about an Amber Ale. No, Amber, Amber no, is just generally like special. middle of the road. That if Tony were here, he would tell you he gets Ambers at a lot of places because usually no, you know boners. He, he gets boners at a lot of places when he sees Ambers. Oh. Oh, when he's and on the yeah, menu. Yeah. We just had a very interesting amber. We had at an Ethiopia. Ethiopian amber. Yeah. St. George. Uh, St. George. Was it, a, was it an amber. ale or was it a lager? It, because ambers can be either ales it or lagers. It was probably a lager. Which one is this? It's, I had a lager. Right. So St. George amber. has a, a lager yeah. from Ethiopia. And then I had the St. George amber, but I can't read Ethiopian <laughs> Text. Uh, it's not the same alphabet. I can't tell you whether it was a ask. ale but or a lager. Is, is there three letters or is there five? <laughs> Better make it three. <laughs> Better make it three. But uh, yeah, this is this is really not how language I didn't follow it. But <laughs> to uh, to the point, it is reminiscent of this mm-hmm. amber ale that we're drinking. So mm-hmm. I imagine it might have been an ale. I do think so. Yeah. We were chocolate. thinking it was a lager while we were drinking it because we, it's not hoppy. There's probably some caramel notes that you're that yeah. But this isn't hoppy there's, either. Yeah, or on toffee. the note, there's there's this on the nose smell of ambers that is really kind of pungent. Not pungent, maybe not pungent, but floral really strong. Almost. Yeah, floral and strong. What's funny is you guys smell it. That's like the last thought on my mind. My thought is get it in my mouth. I want to taste it. See what it tastes like. Yeah, but you taste eighty percent of what you smell. Yeah, yeah. but my, well, I'm not going in for the smell. I'm going in for the taste. Yeah, but I'm it's just drinking. But if you don't, if you don't smell it, then you're just literally getting maybe fifty well, percent of what you could be. smelling. You are smelling it. You just don't realize it. Like whenever you take a sip and then you're breathing around that that smell, yeah. that taste. It's coming in through your nose. But what I'm saying is this is like hitting me. You guys have talked about smell the last, well, this one and the one before this one. Yeah. And I'm not like, I just drank it. I didn't think you even smell it. Mm. Yeah, they're, yeah. We're I encourage it. you to smell it. There's definitely. It does there, change the taste. There's it definitely like. a lot of. Uh, because you're getting, you're getting more. And so you're, because literally you, like I said, you, you taste 80% of what you smell. And so if you're not smelling it as you're drinking it, it's like drinking with a cold, right? Mm-hmm. It's like smelling with a cold. You're not getting the whole effect. There's definitely a yeah, lot of um, care. Not, ooh, you know what this is? This is a butter pecan smell. It's a butter pecan smell. I was going to say caramel, and then I was like, hold on. Caramel. It is. It's got something else to it. Well, lucky for I you can, guys. I can see that. I there's not say butter, dish- though, because butter is an off taste. Have you smelled butter pecan lager. syrup at IHOP? No, it kind of smells no, the same. Not. I don't think I've been to IHOP <sighs> since you were in years. high school. You and no, a, you no, and a, you and Amy both anti IHOP, but good times. Do you, I, I'm not you, anti IHOP. Do you prefer but why, Do you prefer it, Denny's? IHOP or Denny's? Yes, very much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Superbird. Denny's <laughs> fuckers. <And> Denny's. <laughs> what? Give Grand me that slam. lumberjack slam, bro. Give so me that Clint, lumberjack Clint slam. Clint but you're not even a lumberjack. Oh well. Kind of a little bit. Okay, I guess you could get it. Wait, <laughs> you're a Denny's guy. I am a Denny's guy. Wait a minute, is that for Denny's you guys? You... <laughs> what? It's the only IHOP person. What are, the w- are we fuck gonna have to going to do a on podcast here? from both <laughs> Denny's and IHOP? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably no, probably. that that's gonna be our new question. IHOP has you way too many flavors. For... Wait, <laughs> is, I'm so is out IHOP number... a <laughs> terrible <laughs> restaurant that you love to go to? Or is it the greatest restaurant? No, it's a terrible restaurant that you love to go to. <laughs> but it's better than fucking Denny's. Whoa. I have that's many good sure. memories whoa, whoa, whoa. that I have. I have many whoa. good memories. Oh, that's that right. I, I just put it out there. Back Hold to on. the so, beer. This is a lot fruitier than I, I thought I was going to be. Fruity? Yeah, it, it's probably the yeast. Yeah, Th- that's it's probably the, thing. the yeast. That's the thing. Or the malts. No, the malts aren't going to. 
give you no. fruity no. flavors. No. Malt, banana, yeah, malt, yeah. Malt. banana. Yeast will. No, it's the yeast. The yeast that gives you those the esters cloven, and the, the, the bananas peanuts. is from the yeast. Yeah, yeah, it's from the uh, half and white. I get a, I get a tad yeast. bit of caramel on the nose, and right yeah. up front, yeah. I get that caramel. On. No, no, you the get thing is, butter pecan on the. I get nose. a lot of caramel in the taste. Oh, I, I wouldn't say even... butter. Uh, but anyway, you no, you don't go to IHOP. Anyway, no, you what, at, as you IHOP. were saying earlier about ambers, you know they're just kind of the same, but they're sweeter though. And, they're they're malty with without the hop forward. There's yes. hops, but overall you don't, you malt don't. balanced. But the thing is, I was talking to the guys from Whitestone. The brewer from Whitestone was telling me he was he had made an amber with local with local Texas grown malts, and he said that their amber has like a lot of fruity overtones, which he was not expecting. He compared it to fruit snacks. Like if you're sm- if when you open a packet of fruit mm, snacks mm, and you mm, smell mm. it, not 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 eat the whole, not shove the whole pack in your mouth, but smell it, it's kind of like that old Kool Aid kind of kind of smell. We're, 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 wait, talking wait, wait. Who, we're talking to Chris, right? Yeah. Who, who yeah. does that? Whitestone. No, no. Smells the no. If, pack. Who, if you're, who doesn't shove the whole do, pack of fruit no, snacks in your mouth? No, I'm just saying. If you, you do, if you pause, on that's if true. If you pause half a second and you smell it, those are the flavors that you get from there. You know. You know. You know damn well you open that pack of fruit snacks and you yes, dump I it know. all into your mouth I and know. eat it right like, away. Which I, 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 after he said that, I smelled the pack of fruit snacks before I, I dumped I it actually, into my mouth. I actually enjoy the smell once again. I, I, I smell said. things before I put them in my mouth. So I, but I enjoy the smell <laughs> of fruit snacks, but then, I do, but then I do, but then I do dump it. Yeah. <laughs> so does it smell like nickels too, or just taste like nickels? Find out for yourself, Joel. Just find out for yourself. <laughs> Don't just stare at it. Eat it. Yeah. Chocolate it, starfish. Star chocolate starfish. <laughs> hot dog water. Anyway. Hot like, dog water. <laughs> we have, we, should, hot we should make a beer with hot dog water. Oh. We should not. <laughs> no, no, beer. We should, we should, to, we but, should totally do it. No. Um. <laughs> but the thing is, he, he made an amber, and he was just trying to make a regular amber with uh With local the color of malt, your energy. But... Yes, but he got all these fruity flavors, and I'm really excited to taste it when we go up to Whitestone. Um, if uh, listeners were getting into the IPA of the case, I'm not happy. No, I'm not a fan of IPAs either. But this is another wild ride. They're out of Oregon. Oregon, right? This yeah. is the story of a beer. This is story of a beer. She knew what I was talking. It was good. About. I get that reference. Who sang it? Uh, nine days. Yeah. I uh, listened to the radio a lot. That was uh, 1998, or maybe it was 97. Cry the river and drown the whole world. Yeah. I was listening to 90s rock but, the other day. Know, That's actually a, Stroke 9. She has a smile. <laughs> Stroke oh, 9? Man. I, I was listening to 90s That's rock the other day. Wait, what is cut I don't know what that is. I poured other beers in there. Oh, never no mind. Yeah, oh, is it the oh. combo? You get some more? You poured other beers. That's gross. Like other, Why would you do that? Like, Why would you like, do that? There was like frothy we head did, at the bottom. I'm like, I don't want that in my glass. So I poured it in Ross, there. Did we talk about how I almost the beer that, from a... Uh, what was that place? Uh, no. Uh, Brutopia? Brutopia. Yeah, no. Brutopia is where they they mix your beers with Fruitopias. Cisco-topia. Praetorium. Br- wait, po- wait, 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 wait. The thong song? Let thong, me thong, sing <laughs> that thong. Thong, thong, thong. I don't know thong. why you say you can't sing. Is that her? Is that her? That was like now? really great. Clint's a hype man. He's yeah. like, thong, 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 thong. Let me announce um, it. I don't know. Look at the bottle. Can I, can I you got another bottle. I thought bottle. I was going to hate this beer. No, no, no. Don't show Cutter the bottle. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say he this tastes IPA everything. This well, that bad. The River Horse Special didn't have anything about the beer. Time out. So. Sorry, we went back to the uh, the Wild Ride Brew. Oh. Uh, this is the Electrofly IPA. It's like, man. IPA, The say. nose. Once again. So, here, Ooh, hey, so much of, piney. Guys, uh, so when we open a bar, <laughs> one of the things I want to do. Room. Brewery. Whatever you want to call Brewery. it. Brewery. Tap room. Uh, Strip club. Or well, no, no. <laughs> we're going to have a... Well, yeah. a- I'll go build my own lunar lander with blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the lunar lander and the blackjack. No, no, no. Let's Friday be- night. We're going to have our own brewery. <laughs> Ladies night is Thursday night. We room. have a collaboration with Yellow no, Rose. But here's the, here's the thing I want to do. Uh, I Fishy want ale. to... Uh, <laughs> we'll have floral beers that night. <laughs> wild <Nice>. yeast, <laughs> wild yeast. Oh, <laughs> what are you trying to cover up with that flower smell? <laughs> anyway, Dude, coming to the stage, Mustang Sally. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We we, we have our, our tap room full of strippers. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. 
All right. So, no. Uh, when we Glenn have our bar slash tap window. room, what I was thinking is we should have like basically a if you can guess what IPA this is, <laughs> you get at least one free. I like that. I can do. Yeah. Yeah. It's like at Amy's ice cream, and it's like guess the quote of the day, and then you get no, free yeah, toppings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but we'll have, the we'll have like some like random IPA. IPA. This would be even harder. IPA on tap, and we'll just call it the IPA of the day or whatever, or the week or whatever. And if someone can actually guess which IPA that is, the hipsters would rock that shit. Then they can have one free IPA for the for the day that they're this there. This is the if fresh you can coast. Guess it, yeah, because my guess is none of them fuckers can guess no. what what the difference between each IPA. I, what? I would really, I would. We might give away a couple, but no. But the thing is, would we have it on the board? How it, many IPAs no. would we brew? No, 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 no. It wouldn't be ours. Oh, it would be another. Oh, okay. no, no, no. Okay. This is so this we is, would have kegs from other. This yeah, is, like popular. This is, this is breweries. like yeah. This is other people's IPAs, and we're just going to challenge the consumer base because one, we already know that they'll just buy an IPA because yeah. it's an IPA. Yeah, and then two, mystery, it's like oh, we can just oh, we can entice IPA. them. To try more of that same IPA yeah. and sell it faster, just because they'll be like, "No, I can figure out which IPA this is." If they get it wrong, we double, we charge them twice. Oh, it, once? No, no. no. no once, that. once someone right. guesses it right, we put it on fire sale. We sell the rest of what we have, <laughs> and then we switch the put keg. it up on the board so everybody knows, uh, right? So that so that whoever we're buying the beer from. What do we think about this IPA though? This this Electrofly. It's it is strange. It's like a golden to me. color, yeah. It's not, which is it's weird. Not I mean, IPA. I think it'd be paler, obviously. I'm wondering why there is an elephant or a hippo on it. I, That's I, what I'm there wondering. There is well, there, no. This is this wild, is the wild, 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 wild brew. The wild brew. Yeah, sorry. they changed. I know, they it's had just an elephant, an and then we had a hippo. The elephant's not. No, 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 yeah, the, but the hippo has not nothing there. to do. Yeah, the owl does have a hop shape. Not related though. The owl does. Yeah, it's got the. Yeah, it is a hoppy owl. Brack. Is that? I don't know the leaves, but Z- uh, Zach Brett. Zach, this this Brett has Brett. a really weird transition from mid palate to finish. It's almost malty, but it's it's strange to me. I can't put my finger on it. It says it's got it's got honey malts, right? In it, which is fine, but I don't I don't get that sweetness, which I assume no, that's the why sweetness is there. There's there's some sweetness, but did you read the bottle? I did. You should read it again. Maybe yeah, then you'll know uh, what flavors you know, there are. It's unique hops. I don't know. I'm trying to find out what hops are in but it. But no, you're it just right. Says unique hops. This is really unique. It's There's like it's a, strange. Like the, the the transition from mid to finish is that's it's, it's smooth. Exactly. It's a smooth transition, but yeah. it's, it's just it's got a. Does it electrify your taste buds? No. Oh. Is it almost like there's like when you first sip it, there's no taste, and then all of a sudden there's like mid taste, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. after finish taste, it just two hits row. you. The old that's two row and honey malt. Yeah. It's almost it's almost grassy to me, right in that mid palate. It's grassy. I would say it finishes hey. grassy. It smells grassy. Hey, do you taste the tropical fruit? Yes. I well, do. Yeah, a little bit. It's Amy, fruity. It's some Amy. guava. But anyway, my question would be: Now that we've had quite a few beers on this Ooh, podcast, we have. It's can taste the guava. <laughs> oh, the guava! Hold on, hold on. No, that is, oh. that is the I, case. I, I had an I had yeah. an int- I had an interesting I had an interesting uh, question arisen to me earlier this week. Mm, that oh. guano that is interesting. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, bottles or cans? Do you guys prefer? Your hands. <laughs> Do you guys prefer <laughs> bottles? I'm a can man. <laughs> oh man, I love. Are, cans. are you are you really or just? <laughs> I like a shape of that bottle. He married me for my ass. We all know uh, that. We, we knew that. <laughs> We, I we didn't know that. know that you personally knew that, but, <laughs> but we all I thought it was were dead ass. well aware. Whoa. Any, anyway, anyway, like if you were if you were to have the same beer offered to you in a bottle or a can, which would you choose? Like the reason it came up is Cellus. Someone offered like mentioned Cellus. Yeah, me. I would say bottle. I was saying earlier. Like if somebody like handed me like a shiner in a can or a shiner in a beer, yeah. or beer bottle, beer can. Bottle or can? I would say bottle. You would say bottle. Yeah. Okay, Joel, you? I think I have an interesting answer to this. No, 
Nope. <laughs> okay, what's the answer? It's, it's a bottle or can answer. It's not yeah. really, it can't be that interesting. So whatever. Well, when I was born in San Antonio, no. back in. All right, Joel. So when we get together, most stuff is in bottles. And I, that's what you get because you're kind of stuck with it. But as we've done this podcast, a lot of the things that we've gotten have been in cans. Yeah. So I've moved from drinking stuff in bottles to more like, I'll drink stuff in cans now because if I have something in a bottle, I don't know if it's because, yeah, it it tastes different. There's almost like, it's a little bit warmer, a little bit, there's a different taste to it. And a can Mm -hmm. just feels really refreshing and kind of dangerous because you just like drink all day long (laughs) and go through them. And it's definitely made I for the river. Where you're just like so, go on the river it's like it. soda pop. So what it, they're, exactly. easier, yeah, yeah. they're easier to shotgun is what you're trying to say. So what no. it sounds well, like. You, you so, poke a hole in the bottom. And, <laughs> no. And yeah, if you punched a hole in them, you'd have a good time. Yeah. So what it sounds like to me is we need to do a future episode where we do a. Shotgunning uh, a beer? No, bottles and cans. Shotgunning so, a beer. So yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do, we'll do like, sellus in bottles and sellus in cans. Exactly. Yes. Although we've see, already which done one, that the, the only other beer that I know that does that, I think it is Revolver and Blood and Honey that they do both. We can do that. We could do Blood and, and Honey. And we, we will have snow. Grant come come and give us a call. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. make him come down here for and like, <laughs> join physically. Or make us All go right, up there. All right, we're done with you, Grant. You can go home now. Yeah. <laughs> go back to Dallas. <laughs> Cranberry. No, but Clint, you? What? Bottle or can? <laughs> You're a part of <laughs> he's this all, conversation. He's all about the can. <laughs> I thought I, I wasn't you know sure. He likes big cans. <laughs> you claim like can man earlier, I'm a can but man. No, do you? Uh, I thought you but were like. Can what do you think about can. this beer? Oh, this beer is an IPA. It's it's what it is. No, um, yeah. bottles or cans? Um, actually, I think I prefer bottles. Yeah. When yeah. it comes to beer. I, there, I, I'll be honest. I don't think there's a wrong answer to this. I think it's just personal preference. Yeah, of course you don't. <laughs> I would if if you know if I were Wait, going with Cutter's like, is it beer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like it. All right, good. No, it's duck pond piss. <laughs> what? And you'll duck like it. Pond. <laughs> You're gonna give me an alcoholic <laughs> beverage in a yeah. bottle and or can? Fuck yes, it. please. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> What the fuck is duck pond yeah. piss? <laughs> it's it's, it's about our, new, our new home brew. <laughs> it's gonna fly off the shelf. Let me get to a sample that's before our, you commit to a whole bottle. Oh, no, that's our light beer. Duck pond <laughs> piss. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of duck in this. Not as much piss as I like. <laughs> hey, Cutter. Okay. Duck, uh, as, duck you. Duck you, Cutter. <laughs> My answer is, if I, I go with my gut, I'd say cans, but I think bottles would probably taste better. Am I the one who likes cans? No, I, I like cans. cans. I think are cans easy for to drink. certain occasions All, are I definitely mean, like, floating the river. More I, don't corporate. Need, I don't have to check and see if I need an opener. I can just open it and drink it. It's. I mean, I love cans. I love lamp. I love lamp. Wait. They're easy. They're they're smaller. They're I was I was talking. I'm, 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 talking, talking I'm talking more about flavor. So it's like bottle guy for you. I think I think bottles probably would have better flavor, but you know I would just I would probably go with a can first. I, can, like, I'd like to change my answer looking, actually. I, I, I prefer for... bottles if I have a glass. If yeah. I don't have a glass, I would prefer a can. Yeah. Yeah. I th- I, if you're just drinking them straight side by side, yeah. I'd rather have a can. Yeah, I'd rather have a bottle. That's fine. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd take like I, said, I, I don't easier. think there's a wrong answer, but it's all like somebody asked me the other day, and I was like, Drinking. "Can you know?" Like, normally, I wouldn't the, say that, but it's all like yeah, lately. drinking you out of the thing is when, when I'm at the, can, I'm at the liquor store and I'm looking for singles. I'm generally not going to get a bottle if it's not in a can. I'm just probably going to pass it up. Like Cellus, that is where, an interesting IPA. Where I really where I find where I get singles, they only put the Cellus in bottles on the huh. singles rack. They don't put the Cellus in cans. If the Cellus was in the can, I would get it. Cutter, why is this an interesting IPA? Like I said, it's just that middle transition, mm-hmm. like from the the mid palate to the Lava. finish. That grassy, fruity. It's not overly hoppy like you usually yeah. get from. Yeah, from, I can it's, say that. it's not yeah. that. It's not that citrusy, piney. Like hop, it's, it's got that aroma. aroma. Super resonant. It, it's got that uh, it's, aroma. It, it, yeah. it literally, it literally to me has that like kind of malt and hop like hybrid right there in the. Fin- it's like it gets that kind of grassy note, which uh, it. I could, I could do. It's with not, a little more malt. It's not terrible. It's not great. Yeah. It's just 
unique is probably the best word I could say. It's, mm-hmm. I've not had an IPA that has that transition because usually you get tons of fruit. Well, have like you been citrus. in Jersey? No, I haven't. <laughs> so you usually you usually get tons of fruit, and then yeah. it literally goes into that piney hoppiness. And this one's like it's grassy, tropical towards the, like the front, and that grass kind of transitions over into almost a woody, like almost a okay. woody, yeah. woody finish. Yeah, hey Cutter, say that you're making that up. Uh, it's what I got. Okay, <laughs> I got a pee. <laughs> <laughs> I had about fourteen Dr. Peppers. <laughs> I'm actually not getting a finish. It almost it's a bit tastes Dr. What? Peppery. You're not for me. getting a finish. You don't. I feel get like the just, hoppiness. I just not taste the middle. Finish? I just taste the middle. So you don't taste anything after that. Almost, yeah. Okay. There's almost like a middle. He, and it's it's gets, actually really. It's really he gets good. The but front, is... the grundle, and then nothing on the back. No <laughs> nickels. I mean, that's that's what I would do. This is the, the fun bridge. The fleshy yeah, front yeah, bridge. Yeah, exactly. This is he gets the, the front and the fleshy fun bridge, but he won't go to the back. This is the and ta- he gets Florida and <laughs> and Louisiana, but he doesn't get any of the Texas. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. This is the taint of beers, you guys. This is the taint of beers. <laughs> I drink the taint of beers. I am rich. It's almost like when you do those ice sculptures and you just take a shot, but instead it's beer. Oh, it's yeah. the taint. <laughs> I got you. Um, instead of, a middle instead taste. of a penis sculpture, it just kind of stops right before the balls, and, and it comes right out. You guys have middle. those at your you your backwards. bachelor parties? Yeah, penis yeah. sculpture, yeah. Yeah. ice sculpture. Yeah, it's we took the shots height out. of manliness. Yeah, you take the shot out of that. Well, where do you think? Like so, where do you think Chance is? He's building the penis sculpture. So, I mean, he's, that's why who? he's not here this week. Oh, for Cutter's wedding. So the color of this is pretty. There should be a penis is sculpture. It the color of your energy. It is almost, it is pretty, it's amber. It's ambery for an IPA, I would think. It's not, the dog you know, like pale. Red? I it's think more that's of a indicative. golden. That's probably indicative a of the extra malt red? that they put in to minimize the hoppiness. Maybe. I mean, it's still hoppy. And I, I'm yeah, disappointed that this idea. is what we're ending on because I'd like to drink something I actually enjoyed. But is there something well, in the you fridge still you like to enjoy? Beer in that fridge. <laughs> What's in the fridge that you like to drink? But curious then, curious but questions. Amy would be mad at you KBS for making left. bad decisions. Yeah, that's right. No, he'd really be mad at himself. I would be mad at myself. Oh, I mean, well, we're okay with that. I'm, yeah. I. Yeah, uh, what do we got? Because it's just fuck that. Cleanse guy. on baby duty every Saturday morning because that's the only day that I go to work. We know. So, yeah, baby we're girl okay wakes up. He, they're, they're all fine with me being. Fucking I've done my risk assessment. It's all right with you. <laughs> there's, there's, the, the honey, there's the honey pecan. Clint's going to drink there it. Is. The honey oh, pecan it in like there. The nobody likes that? It tastes, no, so it tastes fine so long as it doesn't have the vinegary uh, notes based on other things you've been drinking. So like after this, it yeah, probably the has the, a strong vinegar note to it. Just don't say it tastes like pickles and then you'll taste like pickles. Every Did you say you nickels get. or pickles? Pickles. 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 See, right. uh, pickles only if no, they have a We shouldn't in the start in drinking that stuff during the podcast ross right. well i mean you can bring it over but <laughs> all right oh. should, we, should we wrap this Wait, up yeah pecan? we should wrap up this episode before we do we do we give ones to ones to everything pecan. else so yeah um can we rate these i, I think we I should put them in order if, okay put we can do order. that like which one do you like i would probably go with the nut crusher and then the amber then the pills then the ipa myself I mean, it's an IPA. I'm not a big yeah, fan. I'm not. It yeah. was it was fine for an IPA though. Well, your Cutter, number one was the nut crusher. Yeah, the peanut yeah. butter porter. I would probably do it in the order that we had them: the nut crusher, the peanut butter porter. And so then I would do and the the pills, the, uh, the pills and and the then amber. the amber, then then the IPA. That that IPA and the amber. You know what? No, I, I'd probably flip the IPA and the amber. The amber is probably wow. my least favorite of them. Because so like those are uh, close, those are a close second, mother. third, and fourth. Yeah, I yeah, like you. the amber. I would go peanut butter, amber pills, IPA would be my. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Anything else? No. Um, maybe maybe a fuck cutter. But yeah, it's kind of going back to <laughs> okay, no. that order that was pretty magical. Um, yeah, 
I, I think if you that, if you've never tried it before, you guys I, should try it. If I had to pick a yeah. word, transcendent would probably be a good. Yeah, word. it was yeah. incredible. What? Like oh, it really was wow. an experience. Uh, that side of the table is uh, feeling the uh, the peanut butter was, porter. It was a, it was pretty amazing. Mm. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I thought you liked it. I liked it, but it wasn't fucking transcendent. <laughs> transcendent. I completely. Like, no, it's a, I, I literally got transported to a to a candy shop. Like yeah. when I smelled it, like that's yeah. The, it I, wasn't I'm with the Amy. Amber I, I, of your energy. No, that was no. It was that was the, the, that was the amber. Amber of jack shit. You know? <laughs> I thought. Like, what? I don't want you like it? I liked it. No, this back. You no, liked no, no. it. All right. No, I liked it. Uh, Joel, just go ahead and then. Yeah, we'll yeah. Get Joel, to me. Joel, what up, Joel, what is your wrap it up for us. Right. Your order. Um. So number one, uh, was the special L. Yeah. And the then the pills. It's called okay. special L. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, the uh, I liked special L. Okay. Yeah. And then the pills, and then uh. The nut crusher. Mm-hmm. I, the nut crusher just wasn't for me. It was a little bit thicker, okay. a little bit. I don't really like like porters. He, he doesn't like them Sweet. thick nuts. <laughs> I don't like those nuts in your mouth. Yeah, I like the taint. I like right. seeing that middle area. <laughs> um, like I like the special, but it's a little bit slower yeah. drinking it. And that could be because we've had three beers now. Um, we've had but I like the special now. and then uh, the nut crusher. I wasn't a big fan of, but yeah. I, I generally don't like those kind of beers. And so the I'm IPA is is last. No, no, no. It, uh, so it's a uh, wait. Should we have an IPA? We did Fuck. have an IPA. Wait, you got you guys only said three beers, right? Oh. Four. Four. All right. Let's see. <laughs> IPA is what we're drinking right now, right? Yes. That's the last. No, okay. I'm not. We're not drinking right, anymore so... over here. You're drinking it. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I think it's probably almost an order of what we drink it. So like yeah. from the bottom, it'd be uh, nut crusher. From the bottom. Oh, going <laughs> and now we're here. He's the and reverse order. Okay, and, and then the uh, started from the bottom. Now we're here at the middle. Or the <laughs> but you special. What's interesting mm. is you guys do agree on the middle. Special, special. Oh, you guys agree okay. on the taint. Taint and then, love. And, and then, then the pills. And, well, <laughs> and then the IPA and the pills. Okay. I think I like the pills the best. So you like right. the pills the best. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and that's actually what I would say, like, if you're going to drink these, that's the order it should go in. That's just my opinion. Nope. Okay. Let me okay. just let me just go one more time. There are Again. no wrong opinions, Cutter. No, you're, a, you're, there's no wrong everybody's, opinions, everybody's All right. Hey, Cutter. It's a moo point. Fuck. It's a moo point. You. The opinion of a cow. The what do you amber, think about these beers, Clint? The correct answer is the amber was the best. Okay. Followed by the peanut butter porter. Yeah. Then the pills, then the IPA. Okay, that is the correct sequence of best to worst. Oh, okay. I thought Fuck you were IPAs. Saying... I hate them. I thought yeah. you were saying you like no. the IPA the best. I got like, you. What? Do not go to Zilker Brewing. Then it, do they just do IPAs. It's IPAs and pills. The thing is, I was reading something today about somebody who went to Hops and Grains. Over fifty percent of their menu is IPAs. I uh, I, w- I was asking for yeah. a Zilker yeah. coffee stout or something like yeah. that. They I don't do. think they a Zilker. Do they? I you can pick it up at H E B is what they told me. Yeah, that's like have it. even even Idle Vine. It's like they I've have. Seen, I don't think they I've have seen that. maybe nine beers and mm-hmm. three of them are IPAs. And, and at it's like uh, Flying Man, which is like two miles away, maybe. Yeah. They have like five beers and three of them are IPAs. It's like do something different yeah. than a fucking IPA, yeah. please. Same but thing. I mean, it's it's what people 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 love them for they some do. reason. Wow, well, people and don't know better they're, because they're, they're fucking fast. trendy right now. Yeah, I know, and and, and you can make them fast. So. Don't also don't go to uh, the Oasis. They also it's mostly uh, IPAs. Well, and I mean, they've been making IPAs for a long time. Yeah, though. it's mostly pills and IPAs. But they do have. Well, I don't think they they have it on tap right now but they have a hellas which is they do have that on tap oh do they oh, yeah. i, I want to try that they don't can it it's cowboys from hellas no no that's uh independent no, that's independent and that's right you can go to hellas i'm going to texas nice which is what sam houston said to the i don't think he said hellas oh maybe <laughs> But he said that to the Senate, I believe, to the uh, the government at okay. the time. Anyway, gotcha. Ah, it's like I now went to what? What is it called again? Craftbeerclub.com. Craftbeerclub. Yeah. Well, um, we can we can do this. 
every month if you guys want. Yeah, if you want to do special episodes of this, that hey, listener, let us know what you think of this. Like, yeah, because we'll we'll please. do this every month. Yeah, yeah. please, because this is actually quite like interesting, I and I'm very very interested in doing this myself. I would prefer to do this on an ep- on a night we didn't do. This was your suggestion. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I no, would prefer no, to do I, it. But this, I'm this, saying, what I'm this, this would be, this, this would be a, a really good idea for like uh, if, if we need a filler week or something yeah. like that when we know we're gonna have a two episode week, like possibly this one. I think uh, two episode week should be like a slumber party. <laughs> You know what I mean? I would. That's a very yeah, hip, hippie thing to say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we shall just have a vegans. slumber party. No, 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 you can no, get no, real no, food no. in here. No. No. no, real food. But uh, but no, it's like it's like sense? when we when we know we're gonna have like a two episode. No, I was week or think, like that. I was thinking of doing well. Count as a bonus episode, but just do it like a normal episode. It worked well tonight because we didn't really get three beers in. No, with yeah, them. yeah, exactly. But yeah. It's like this is not something we could normally do. That yeah. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us for our special out of state craft beer club dot com episode. Tell us if you want more of these. We'll do more of these. Craft Beer Club. Tell us if you want more of these. Craft we'll do more dot, of these. Craftbeerclub.com <laughs> if you want to go give us a free subscription. Hey, what did, do they have a that? website? Yes, craftbeerclub.com. Oh, okay. Yeah. One Check more time, just in case I missed it the first time. Craftbeerclub.com. Even if you are in Texas, they will ship you craft beer. They will shift you beer. Which is shift you beer. Which is illegal. Well, that's not illegal, not the way they do it. But if according to TABC laws, <laughs> fuck TABC. You cannot buy craft beer from another another state. But if you're a part of a club, you're paying for the membership, not for the beer. Wait. It's true. You can't buy Crap. According to TABC, no, you, you can't order you can't order beer from a different state. So that's a Texas what? thing. Shipped. You can't have beer shipped to you unless it's a gift. Hashtag then abolish we... TABC. Craftpack.com. Hashtag 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 God, so these you can't get. Wait, I thought. Nope. No. Okay. I think I said so it on Sierra, the special. Sierra, Sierra Nevada is no longer craft beer. Sierra Nevada is craft beer. North any Coast... beer you can't get any beer. You can't buy beer from out of state. But you can't. North Coast Scrimshaw is from out of state. Hey, you yeah, can't even ship to but your you house. buy it from a retail outlet. Yeah, I, you can't buy it. You from can't. The you don't get it shipped to your oh, house. Oh, I yes, can't you buy can't. it. Okay, yeah, all right. yeah. Which is what he said. If you were paying attention, right. maybe, maybe I wasn't, wasn't clear enough. All right, so are we gonna start going state to state, bringing back uh, different beers? We can do that if I, you guys want. If but... you want it. Right. Anyway, anyway. Well, thanks for joining us yeah, on this thanks trip. Thanks everybody for joining us. It's like this has been Cutter. Ross, Clint, Joel, <laughs> Joel, Amy and Rain, and Amy Rain, and this is the podcast. This, this is, is the, the podcast. podcast. Three Beers In is a proud member of the Hopped Up Network. Thanks for sticking around. You can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, Google Play, TuneIn, and on the Hopped Up Network. Dot com. If you like what you heard, rate and review us on iTunes. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Three Beers In Podcast and check out our website, Three Beers In Podcast.com. Three, the number three beers in podcast.com. You can find information about us and the show along with the links to all of our episodes and our really cool merchandise. While you're on our site, you can tell us what you like, what you don't like. And if you don't like us, then why the hell are you still here? You should have turned us off long ago. But if you're just going to listen to us anyway, then you should probably subscribe too. And if you'd like a transcript of our podcast, write down everything that we just said. You're like Leia in this group.
If you are looking for more beer podcasts, just like the one you're listening to right now, then head on over to hoppedupnetwork.com. We are a podcast network focused on our local craft beer communities. Here's a quick example of one of the many podcasts you will find. Talking Point, a topic that invites discussion or argument. Drinking Points, topics that invite discussion about local history over a cold beer. Hey everyone, I'm Haley. And I'm Troy. And we are Drinking Points, a history podcast brewed for your enjoyment. Join us as we discuss history and brews from Buffalo, New York, and beyond. Find us on the Hopped Up Network.